Lydia Moss Bradley July 31, 1816, to January 16, 1908, was a wealthy bank president and philanthropist notable for her philanthropic works. She founded Bradley Polytechnic Institute in Peoria, Illinois, in 1897. Earlier life Lydia Moss was born on July 31, 1816 in Vivi, Indiana, alongside the Ohio River. She was a daughter of Loudoun County, Virginia native Zeely Moss and a granddaughter of Revolutionary War chaplain Nathaniel Moss. Her mother was Fauquier County, Virginia native Jeanette Glasscock Moss. According to her National Women's Hall of Fame biographical sketch, Lydia Moss grew up on the frontier and was educated in a log home. In fact, she lived in Vivi with her family until she wed Tobias S. Bradley on May 11, 1837. At the age of 31, she and her husband then moved to Peoria, Illinois. Over the next three decades they prospered in real estate and banking. Despite his death in 1867 and the prior deaths of all six of their children, Bradley continued to work in business and pursued philanthropic interests, particularly in the areas of healthcare and education. Works In 1875 Bradley became the first female member of a national bank board in the United States when she joined the board of directors of the First National Bank of Peoria now part of Commerce Bank. Bradley was also one of the first American women ever to draft a marriage contract a prenuptial agreement in modern terms to protect her assets. Bradley gave land to the Society of St. Francis to build a hospital, now known as the OSF St. Francis Medical Center. In 1884 she built the Bradley Home for Aged Women to care for widowed and childless women, and funded the construction of the Universalist Church in Peoria. Bradley then won a U.S. Supreme Court case in 1903 over a land dispute. She also helped to establish the first park system in Illinois. Bradley always considered Bradley University to be her fondest project, which she established in 1896 to honor her husband Tobias and her six children, who all died at an early age. Originally organized as a four-year academy, Bradley University became a four-year college in 1920 and has continued to grow ever since. Today the university enjoys the status of a fully accredited, independent institution that provides undergraduate and graduate education in engineering, business, communication, teacher education, nursing, physical therapy, fine arts, and the liberal arts and sciences. Death and interment According to biographer Alan A. Upton, Lydia Moss Bradley was confined to her home with illness in December 1907. Initially diagnosed with internal inflammation, she briefly improved under the care of her physician, but her health then declined once again following a revised diagnosis of la grippe in early January 1908. Although in great pain, the now 91-year-old philanthropist reportedly remained alert and engaged with the affairs of her estate. She succumbed to complications from her condition at 7.15 a.m. on January 16, 1908. Following funeral services at her home, she was laid to rest beside her husband at the Springdale Cemetery in the family plot that held the remains of her father, mother, Laura, the five other children and the children of William Moss. Honours In 1997, Bradley University honoured Lydia Moss Bradley by erecting a statue on Founders Circle in her honour. That statue has since been featured regularly in images used for university recruiting brochures. In June 2018, the statue was knocked down during a traffic accident. In 1998, Lydia Moss Bradley was inducted into the National Women's Hall of Fame. See also Bradley University